Good evening, everybody. What is today? Today's Wednesday. Tonight, we're down at iDrive 360. There's the eye right there. We're going to Tin Roof to sample some of their food because it's a brand new restaurant. There's a lot of stuff going on down here on iDrive. So if you guys come to Orlando, make sure you check out iDrive now. I know that before I had said like, yeah, yeah, yeah iDrive, but it's getting better. They're like building it up. There's this whole new section. We're going to get a Madame Tussauds. We're going to get a Sea Life. We're getting the eye, which is behind the building now. And we're get, we got like a yard house. We got a big bowling alley down here. There it is right there. There's the eye. Yeah. Got lots of stuff happening down here. And then Tin Roof right there. That's where we're headed. Basically their tagline is a live music joint. Mm. Here's the menu. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Do you guys see anything that looks good to you? Yeah. Crazy spicy bacon popcorn. Let's see here. That's pretty all right. I like that. Let's have a look around. Here. These some mussels and some wings. Yep. Mmm. Yep. Jeff Ryan. First, we have our uh, signature Kentuckyaki wings. It's a mix of sorghum syrup, Jim Beam bourbon. We're trying to make it like a Kentuckyaki teriyaki sauce. It's our version. Prince Edward Island mussels. We use our local orange blossom pilsner. A little bit of cornstarch, garlic, onion, red chili flakes, and we finish that off with giant herb croutons, and then the tuna and melon. So fresh shaggy tuna, honeydew melon, chili lime sauce, and tortilla strips. This is their margarita. Look at that thing. Yeah, it looks awesome. It looks really good. Yeah, this one uh, will be served virgin well, or with vodka. Really good. This is the virgin uh, sampling. But it smells right now, like butterbeer. The taste is where we want it. We've been cutting the consistency down. So, oh, this is good. Oh, man. Right here is the hot chicken torta. Hot chicken is uh, a staple of Nashville. We take our chicken breast, we marinate it in buttermilk overnight with some spices. Then we deep fry it. And we top that with uh, crinkle cup pickles and a ranch potato salad spread. It cools down the heat a little bit. Our burger over here is our rodeo burger. It's an 80 20 grind uh, ground beef. We got pepper jack cheese on that, ranch, jalapenos, lettuce, tomato, pickle. Wow. El Jardin quesadilla. Oh, is that like vegetarian? Yes. yes. Nice. We have uh, sauteed poblanos, corn, bacon, coarse shrimp. We finish that off with uh, our smoky tomato sauce that we smoke here, stone ground grits. And we finish the grits off with a little bit of mascarpone cheese. Oh yeah, chicken and waffles. Wow. Awesome. And then chicken tenders. Oh, oh that looks man. so cute. You guys like sorghum? You're gonna love that. All right, these are our uh, U10 scallops. Hand seared. Then we baste them in a little bit of butter, a little brown butter, sitting on top of a potato hash, a sweet potato hash, which consists of sweet potatoes, onions, poblanos, and olives. And we finished that with the lemon butter garlic sauce. Okay, Kyla. Man, look at that. Yeah, Corn milk really nice. With barbecue brisket and green yeah. cabbage slaw. Some ribs. <laughs> look at that. All right, our two desserts. Yes. The first one is our signature cow horn pepper s'more pie. As you can see our mascot here is Chip. We dust him with a little cocoa powder. as a graham cracker crust. A little bit of butter, a little bit of cinnamon brown sugar. Dark chocolate ganache. We put a little hint of cayenne pepper in the dark chocolate. Gives you a little kick that you'll feel in the, little, in the back of your throat. Not too overwhelming. And then our homemade marshmallow fluff that we brulee right on top. Our bread pudding, we call it El Chango Barracho. It means the drunken monkey. You have dulce de leche with a little bit of sea salt. You got a layer of bread pudding. In between that, you have a layer of bananas. And then finish off with a look, another layer of bread pudding. This little shot that we accompany it with is 99 bananas and cream and dulce de leche. What I recommend is taking half of the shot putting it in the middle of the bread pudding. So it kind of gives you like a creme anglaise type deal on your classic bread pudding.
for the wind, but we came up here to see how the eye is doing. They're gonna be putting the last capsule on tomorrow. It is very big. Wow. Look at this view that we have from up here though. Like that's the convention center out there. Let's see, what do we got? Lots of lights, I don't know, it's like city, city stuff. There's a fun spot over there, right? More of the fun spot, which means that Universal is kind of like yonder-ish. We're gonna try to use the super zoom on the camera to figure out what stuff is. All right, we found Epcot so far. I don't know what hotel that is, but it's pretty dang big. There's the Kissimmee fun spot, which is crazy that you can see both fun spots from here. Fireworks just started going off at Epcot. Let's see what we can see. If you guys see that light that's just to the left of the ball, that is the fire, the globe that's on fire in the middle of the lake. There they go. That's pretty ridiculous looking. This is awesome. This would make the price of admission to the Orlando Eye worth it. You can imagine that the line is going to be huge at 9 o'clock at night. I just stopped recording and then you heard the fireworks go off. Like a good minute, minute and a half afterwards. Science! Just so you guys have an idea of how far away Epcot actually is from us, let's get a zoom out here. There it is, off in the distance. Wow! That was a lot of fun. Now, I know that before we have said that iDrive is not the safest place. We haven't been down to iDrive in a while. They're really starting to build that section up, like where we were with the iDrive 360, Fogo de Chao, Red Robin, Carabas, all these different places, Sleuths, Kings, there's like a bowling alley. It's awesome. If I was coming to Orlando as a tourist, I would totally go down iDrive and I would walk that section of it. Uh, it's awesome. So, but as you guys know, my bedtime's at 10, it's past 10. So, I'm gonna go to bed. I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. Big thanks to Tin Roof Orlando for having us out tonight.